Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy. My name is Pramod and welcome to the 30 days of automation and testing. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about the what is behavior driven development, right? Uh, we're going to talk about what are the major features, what are the major disadvantages, what are the myths about it and what are the major benefits and how, what are the examples of how this uh, BDD uh, development or test cases right, looks like, right? So I'm excited to share all this information. So let's get started. All right, guys. so let's talk about uh, what is BDD, right? Uh, before learning out, right? So before we are starting this BDD, right? Uh, guys, you need to understand how TDD works, which is the test driven development, right? Where what we do is that we need, we are, we create the test cases first and the functionality after it, right? Uh, BDD is a part of the TDD framework that we are, uh, it, TDD which, which was a test driven development process, right? If you, uh, if you, uh, want to learn more about it i have created the last video about it what is tdd in that kit and uh, i have given one example also i'll recommend you to watch that video right so let's talk about what is bdd in this video so bdd it's a way for software teams to work and closely and basically it resolves the gap between the business people and the technical people right so uh, if uh, if you know right uh, generally what we do is that we write test cases around it for example we want to write test case for login scenario right uh, for valid username for ABCD for the valid username and password, uh, this uh, user uh, basically the login should work, right? But there can be an implementation, but where you are writing your test cases, right? Which will be very hard to understand by people of business people, right? They don't understand it, right? So if you see this diagram, right? So business they have domain-driven designs, right? Where they will basically design the documentation, right? They will tell you the scenarios that these are scenarios that we have but they are very much they are not uh, concerned about the how this technical part which is the tdd right uh, tdd kind of a test cases works how you are writing your test cases so there is a particular gap so how this bdd can solve this uh, uh, problem right so what you can have is that you will have a certain test cases written in a plain languages plain language with the uh, gherkin syntax which is where like uh, given this will happen, when this happen and then this happen. I'm going to explain you what, what is it, right? So uh, let's take an example of it. So this is a typical typical BDD uh, test looks like. So we have a login functionality. So in a simpler manner, we have as a uh, as a customer, in order to as a user location, I want to log in and username. You, I want to log in, I need use email and password, right? Uh, for invalid credentials, if I go to login page, if I type this incorrect username and password and I'll get this message, right? So this is a very simple manner in a I mean, these are like very simple way to write your test cases, right? Uh, but they are not concerned about what is the logic behind it. It's uh, what you need to do is that you need, in Selenium, you need to open a browser, you need to go to that browser, you need to put the username, password, click on it, get the message and verify that message, right? So that is the tech part of it, right? They are not much concerned about it. That, that's why behavior driven development comes, right? You are basically creating certain scenarios which are behavior driven, which are basically understand by the business people and the tech part will be taken care of the tech people, right? So that's why behavior driven was so powerful and so widely used by the people even we use it, right? So what are the major benefits of uh, BDD is that basically it's encourages the collaboration between the business people and tech people, right? Uh, you ca uh, It can basically produce a system documentation that is automa automatically because your all the documentation or requirement that you have created, right? These are the scenarios are already uh, covered because uh, if you see your feature files, right? Those are already, uh, you can see step by step which are the files or which are the test case that they have already covered, but are the requirement they have covered, right? So that's how, uh, that's how it basically, it's one of the great way why uh, DDD is used, right? Uh, it, if you are working in a rapid small iteration or small iterations development cycle, it can increase the feedback, right? So suppose one of the test case or requirement is not covered, uh, be, basically a business people can understand with this simple uh, English language, right? So your test case is not covered or requirement is not covered, they will tell you and again you will write the feature file and again you can write the code around it, right? So that's why uh, BDD is so powerful. What are the major disadvantages? Uh, I found one of the disadvantages related to is that uh, you need to have more ex extensive requirements in it. Technical and non-technical people are forced to talk to each other, right? 
many times or so tradition in traditional way what we have is that we have a requirement created tester read the requirement create test cases and uh, perform the testing right but here you uh, you need to basically get reviewed by the other business people the other requirement they have mapped basically since they are written in the plain language they can understand your test cases right and there will be like to and fro lots of to and fro with the requirements are all right so that's one of the major disadvantages apart from it most of the time bdd works very well and it has greater impact i would say uh, so let's talk about the what are the major benefit of bdd it converts simple requirement into test cases so again a very important point test return in cucumber directly interact with the development code so you you write your test cases you write a feature file which looks like this and you are here after that you will have a certain code respectively so uh, if i say uh, if uh, if i say given i have an account login page right this will have a particular function written in the uh, in some other file where you will basically open the use login page and uh, verify that uh, page is loaded and not so uh, that, that's how it's the mapping is done right uh, easy to understand by business stakeholders because they know uh, they, they can read your feature files they can understand what uh, kind of test cases that you have written right that's why bdd is so popular uh, while using means lots of people are still using remove any kind of ambiguity so no confusion business people can understand what is what you are writing uh, and everything is open to it right so that's uh, one of the be benefit of bdd framework so i'll explain you this is how a typical uh, bdd looks like it is for the invalid credential and for valid credential it should say that i am at the home page or in dashboard right so the, that we need to verify and code it right there are, so this was a, a high level overview of bdd this was a small introduction about it and in probably in the next uh, in the next video we are going to learn about how to implement cucumber with java so that uh, you can understand better how bdd works right thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye